I was presenting on uh, a new topic. It's on uh, low burden of metastasis in breast cancer. This is what we call, uh, in our jargon, uh, oligometastatic breast cancer. Oligo means few sites of metastasis. There is a, a very, uh, in, a very uh, it's a great interest nowadays on uh, looking at how we can approach patients with few sites of metastasis with the belief, it's only a belief not proven yet, that uh, a significant part of those patients will actually behave like uh, a, um, a differently with uh, a better survival and, uh, and they don't all go to develop full-blown metastasis like other patients with stage 4 disease. So the talk was on how to approach uh, low uh, burden of metastasis or oligometastatic disease with local therapy, specifically with radiation therapy, and more specifically using a technique called stereotactic body radiation therapy. This technique is actually a very uh, very quite advanced, very sophisticated, and it actually consists of delivering a focused dose of radiation where these metastases could be, either in the bone, in the lung, in the brain, and even in the liver or in the lymph nodes. So by doing that, you could maximize the local therapy. Beside the local therapy to the primary disease in the breast, you treat the metastases and hoping that you can have a long-term control and possibly cure a proportion of those patients. We believe there's about f f at least 20 percent, maybe 50, up to 50 percent of those patients will enjoy a long-term disease-free interval and about half of them will probably have uh, a uh, complete cure. Uh, this is at least some of the retrospective single institution studies have shown but currently there are trials looking at those patients and specifically and trying to understand whether local therapy either by surgery or radiation is going to add to the survival of those patients. So definitely there is a benefit for the patient by being what we call aggressive in local uh, treatment for these sites of metastasis up to five. This is a definition of oligometastasis, is up to five sites of metastasis that could be in one organ or in multiple organs. Actually, it is gaining ground rapidly because the technology is there and the patient and the physicians are demanding it because we believe it's going to help the patients, but it's not proven to be scientific, not scientifically proven to add to the survival of the patient. So we are doing it because of pressure from the patient and referring physicians to maximize therapy for those patients. But uh, unfortunately, we cannot tell the patient with certainty that what we are doing is adding to the survival. I think until we have the results of the randomized trials, which are testing local therapy the way I describe it versus just systemic therapy the old-fashioned way and see the results, see if this is adding uh, to the survival of the patient. Until we have those results, I don't think it's going to be routinely done. But having said that, again, because of the pressure from the patient and from the referring physicians and the treating physicians, we are uh, seeing more and more patients referred for these treatments uh, with the expectation that we can control their disease and provide them with better survival. In the presentation, I closed by saying and telling my colleagues in the room that if you have a patient coming for SPRT for few bone metastasis or lung metastasis, go ahead and do it because it's simple it's not adding any toxicity and to the patient. At the same time, it's, uh, it's potentially helping them to have a better disease-free interval uh, and possibly survival. 
the only toxicity is is uh, cost, of course, but this is important to keep in mind. But again, uh, this is something that actually could be beneficial to the patient. Uh, this would be my uh, my summary of uh, this technique or this approach. Thank <laughs> you.